Hey guys, Sam from Aaron's Outdoor, and in today's video, I am going after shoal bass. I've only ever caught three shoal bass. They're kind of a rare species of black bass. They're, they're fairly common, like in different parts of Georgia and uh, Florida and I don't know, some other places. But basically today, I'm going to a creek that I've caught one shoal bass out of before, and I need it for the Georgia black bass slam this year. That's something I completed last year, and I want to complete again uh, this year. So hopefully we can get on at least one shoal bass today. There's a fish. Ooh, let's see, what is it? Uh, it's a spotted bass, so. First fish of the day, man, I used a, I'm using a four inch swim bait. Usually I use like, I don't know, two to three inch swim baits. And I got a tiny bass. It's a spotted bass. It's, I almost said in the intro, like, this creek's got some shoal bass, but these spotted bass are really starting to take over. All right, we'll release this little dude. There's another one. This is just a few casts later. He's bigger. He's not very big, but I think it's a spotted bass again. Yeah, it looks like another spotted bass. Man, I actually haven't, uh, I haven't documented a spotted bass for the Georgia Black Bass Slam yet, but I catch so much of them and this guy's so small. There's, there's really no point in documenting this guy. All right, well, this was literally like two casts after that last fish, so. They're in here. I mean, last time I, or the first time I fished here, um, I caught four bass out of this one little hole. There's a fish. Another one. Will it be a shoal bass? Ooh, I think it might be. It's definitely the best one. Ooh, gosh. I think it's a shoal bass. It doesn't look like a spot to me. Oh my gosh, he's fighting. Yeah, it's a shoal bass. Ooh, dude, can I get him? There we go. That's a shoal bass right there, y'all. That's a nice fish. I've only caught, yeah, it's only my fourth shoal bass ever, and he's, he's about the same size as my PB, probably. <laughs> this could be my personal best shoal bass, because I've only caught, like, a few, but. All right, I'll get some pictures with this guy and release him. All right, I got pictures of this guy as fast as I could. Now I'm going to re release him, and this guy, I mean, he was bigger than the two spotted bass he caught, but he definitely fought so much harder, like pound for pound, than those spotted bass. I mean, these shoals are mean. There's a fish. All right, out of the river. Hopefully it's a shoal bass. All right, let's see. It might be a little spotted bass. Can't tell. It might be a shoaly. He's pretty small, but he's fighting. Oh no, it's a sholey, I think. There we go. Yeah, that's a sholey. I believe so. Yep, little shoal bass out of the river. He doesn't look quite as much of a like a a pure shoal bass, but he could have a little spot in him, but I think that's definitely mostly shoal bass. All right, I'll let this guy go. Can I make sure the shoal bass is good to go? I mean, he's out of the water for like 20 seconds, so he's definitely fine. Oh, there he goes. Either I'm stuck or I have a fish. I think I have a fish. I think so. Yeah, I have one, dude. It's a shoal bass, probably. It's a bass. No way, that was like my second cast. It looks like a nice sholey. Might be a spotted bass, actually. Can't tell. Oh, no, it's a sholey. Nice, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Literally like my second cast. Jeez, nice. It's a good looking sholey. I mean, he was in strong current. Really? There is literally, a, like, I just looked at my camera. There's a minute and two seconds. Nice. That's how fast I caught this fish. Awesome. All right, I'm I cannot believe I got this fish, like, literally less than a minute into fishing. This is just crazy. It's a nice one. I mean, it's probably a pound and a quarter, maybe a little more. But these guys fight hard, and he was in strong current. And there he goes. Oh, he's just chilling right there. Oh, 
There's a fish. I thought he had bit it a couple times. I thought I was getting bites. I couldn't tell if I was just snagging on something for a second or if it was a bite. Here's a little shoaly. Man, they fight, dude. These things fight so hard. Oh, get in the net. Okay, well, I didn't exactly use the net how I was supposed to, but I will take that fish. These fish fight so hard. It is a blast to catch them. I think shoal bass are probably my new favorite fish to catch, so let me release this guy. Is this a fish? Dude, oh my gosh. I think this is a fish. This feels good, dude. I don't know what it is. Uh, oh my gosh. It's pretty good shoaly. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, good shoaly. Good shoaly. Or maybe a spotted bass. It's a good thing I have my net. I thought it could have been a striper at first. The way it was fighting. Dude, good spotted bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that spotted bass. That's crazy, dude. I'm pretty sure my PB spot is only uh, three pounds. I mean, this is, I doubt this is my PB, but he's gotta be at least two and a half. Dude, that is a good fish. I thought it was snagged, so. That is a long fish too. Um, I don't know how big it is. It's probably like two and a half. I mean, it's not a bad fish. Right under, underneath the bridge. All right, if y'all know me, you know I like to weigh my fish. I don't like to make up stories about how some two pounder I caught was four pounds. So I'm gonna weigh this guy. Two twelve. So that's two and three quarters. I always weigh them twice just to be safe. Two twelve. He's two and three quarters. All right, y'all, it's time to get an underwater release on this nice chunk. I mean, two and three quarter pound river bass, I will take any day, even if it's the spotted bass and not a shoaly. I mean, this is, it was still a hard fighting fish, but definitely, they definitely don't fight, or fight quite as hard as those uh, shoal bass. Make sure he's good to go. Ooh, there he goes. There's a fish off that uh, tree. Oh, uh, I don't know what that is. I saw a guy fishing here last night and he said he uh, caught a striper over here or he hooked into a striper. <laughs> so I was kind of interested. I was like, yeah, I'll try it out. Maybe there's a striper over there or something. I don't know what that was. I mean, definitely felt like a fish. There's a fish. It's a fish. Ooh, a little bass. Come here. Oh, a little spotted bass. All right, well, I'll take him. Just a little spotted bass. Ooh. There we go. All right, I had one I missed right over here. <laughs> yeah, it probably wasn't a striper that I missed, but the guy, the guy I met yesterday did say he missed a striper. Um, but yeah, a little spotted bass. I'll take him. The least eventful catch of the day, that's for sure. Oh. What is that fish? I think that's a carp. I don't know if that was a carp or what. That was a big fish, though. All right, y'all. What well, is the next morning? I totally forgot to do an outro out on the water last night, but that was a really fun evening at the river. I mean, this whole video was pretty fun. On um, the first day, I literally caught three fish in the first, like, ten minutes. Didn't catch anything for the next hour. The second day, I like didn't catch anything at that creek. And then I, so I decided to go to a river nearby and I caught that one shoal bass. And then last night I did really well at the river. Got a good spot of bass, caught a couple of shoal bass and then had that extra little small spot of bass. So I will definitely take that. I'm really loving catching shoal bass now. I think they're probably my new favorite species of fish to catch. I can't imagine like what, you know, the fight a three pound stroll bass would put up. But, but I could call all my fish in this video on a four inch Kai Tech Easy Shiner, which is definitely one of my all time favorite lures. 
And the EG Shiner I was using was in the uh, Ghost Rainbow color. I think it's, it's either Ghost Rainbow or Ghost Rainbow Trout, but I'll put a link for it in, in the description of this video if you want to check it, check it out. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch y'all on that next video. Thanks for watching.